Hello, I'm Atuba George and I'm so blessed to be bringing God's truth to you today. Today is Friday, praise God. I see, I'm excited about Fridays because I also listen to these messages, praise God. So, so I'm going to listen to them from Monday till Friday, today's message, praise God. And you should do the same thing. You don't let words like this pass by without you making sure you get every juice out of it. Now, before going to today's broadcast, can we make requests for our daily bread? Now, for this Friday, you're making requests for daily bread for Saturday and Sunday till Monday, praise God. So your heart should enlarge. I'm expecting big things from the Lord. Hallelujah. Join me right now. Say, Father, I request for my daily bread and everything I'm going to require for this weekend, I request for it right now. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. I'm seeing someone. Thank you, Holy Spirit. This part of your head, there is, there is a, a constant pain that is there, not, not inside your head somewhere around your ear and the top, top part of your head, there is a pain that normally come, you know, very, it, it makes you uncomfortable. Several thoughts have gone through your mind concerning that. Just um, on this right side of your ear and then part of your head. I command that pain to cease from today. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, be healed in jesus name and i see god is healing someone in the eyes someone is being healed in the eyes thank you holy spirit i pray for the perfection of that healing right now in the name of the lord jesus it's it's a, it's a restoration that is taking place right now god is working on the nerves and the tissues connected to your eyes it's becoming weak and weak, and but but I, I see, I see God reconstructing it. I see God injecting life into it, because I, I can see that some nerves are becoming dead. Nerves connected to your eyes, but but God is doing a surgery on those eyes right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, be healed in your eyes. Be healed in your eyes thank you holy spirit every pain that is in your body i speak healing right now in the name of the lord jesus i see someone you've been having this problem with your left knee your left knee especially your left knee and it it becomes so painful thank you holy spirit you are healed right now in the name of Jesus, you can begin to stretch that knee, stretch that leg, stretch that leg. You can stand up, stamp it on the ground. In the name of the Lord Jesus, be healed. God is healing different kinds of arthritis. That's what I heard in my spirit. Different kinds of arthritis. They are being healed right now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In the name of the Lord Jesus. If you're having any form of arthritis, now this word is for you. I have the Thank you, Holy Spirit. Now, what I'm just saying right now is, is answering someone's prayer. See, because as I was talking, I, I saw someone who was saying, Lord, let him call this my kiss. And you've been having arthritis. Can you stand up on your feet right now? Begin to walk and walk up and down. God is healing those legs. God is healing your arthritis right now. In the name of Jesus, be healed. Be healed. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Chest pain is leaving someone right now. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, we give you praise, Lord. We give you praise. We give you praise. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, 
Thank you. I, I just see the Lord healing different kinds of ailments. Praise God. Different kinds of... Now, when you see, this is the thing. Um, when the word of God is coming, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, it's not only words we are speaking. I, I want you to understand. Every time you listen to this broadcast, I'm telling this because to help you. Every time you listen to this broadcast or anytime you are under the influence of the anointed, anyone who's anointed and is teaching you the word of God, as you open your heart to receive, you know, some people, they don't open their hearts to receive, they are analyzing. Is it right or is it wrong? <laughs> open your heart to receive. Now, learn this. If you're receiving from God, the person who is preaching is only creating the atmosphere. You must know that you are receiving from the Lord. Because it's from the Lord you receive healing. It's from the Lord you receive miracles. The person who's preaching will not give it to you. He is conveying words from the Lord. But you see those words. Those words that the person is conveying is just a door opener. But if you receive the ministry, just like I'm preaching now, if you receive my ministry and you open your heart, it's not just words that will be coming to you. There is something I'm conveying and I'm aware of it. Healing is part of it. Supernatural supply is part of it. So there is no way you will listen to this message and listen and listen that you will not get. To, you see, I'm telling you the truth. You will get to this point where supernatural supply becomes a normal thing for you. You will just notice that, ah, come on, I don't get broke anymore. Somehow, somehow. Why? Because that's, that's, that's something that it's, uh, it's my ministry to communicate. So whether I'm talking about it or not, healing is something I'm communicating. Whether I'm talking about healing or not. If I stand here and I just start singing, it's a door opener. If you receive my ministry, suddenly while listening to the song or listening to the message, what I'm saying is a door opener. So go beyond listening to what I'm saying. Open your heart to receive everything that is coming. Because you listen to this message and suddenly you realize, come on, there's a pain I used to have. It's gone. When did he leave? I, I can't remember. I don't know, but I just noticed I don't feel that pain anymore. Yeah, it was conveyed through the preaching. You see that? So, yes, I, I, I'm teaching you the word of God. But beyond the teaching, I'm conveying something. The word of God is the opportunity for you to listen stay in one place and listen but while you're listening open your heart i beg of you open your heart and say lord i receive everything that is coming from this man oh it's good things i can tell you that they are all good things praise god oh thank you holy spirit thank you holy spirit thank you thank you several people have been healed yeah my green headache Gone. I, I pray specifically for you that this weekend, yes, this weekend, you are going to receive supernatural provision, the kind that will change your way of thinking, that will make you trust God the more. In the name of of the Lord Jesus Christ. Receive it right now. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Woo! Where were we? Thank you, Holy Spirit. <laughs> Let's come to today's teaching. Hallelujah. Uh, I could go on and go on like that. You see that? But thank God I've taught you this now. Receive everything that is coming from you. Receive it. Thank you, Lord. All right, we are talking about faith, receiving the message 
of rest, mixing it with faith. And that's what I've been teaching you for the past few days. Oh, Lana Makasa, I see God restoring something in someone's life. Yes, there's a restoration that is taking place in your life. And what I'm seeing is something about 10 years, something about 10 years old. About 10, 12, 10 to 12 years. See, it's more than 10 years. Between 10 to 12 years, I see something that you have let go something that uh, but it still hurts you but you had to let it go i heard the lord said i'm restoring that thing to you right now in the name of the lord jesus receive it let angels father let angels get involved in this matter and let a restoration take place. Something was taken away from you. In the, and it's been like 10 to 12 years now since that thing was taken away from you. You have let go, but it still hurts you. You let go because there was nothing you could do about it. Because um, they found out that you made certain mistakes about th that whole process. So you lost it. But then, the Lord is restoring that specific thing back to you. And here's what I hear the Lord say. It will make more sense to you now than it would have made uh, at that time. Thank you, Lord Jesus. It has to do with an office. It has to do with an appointment. It has to do with um, something to do with the government. About 10 or 12 years ago, you were supposed to get something from the government. And, but you lost it. You lost it. But, but the Lord is saying, now that thing is coming back to you and it's going to make more sense to you now than it would have made sense to you at that point. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So in the name of the Lord Jesus, receive it right now. Receive it. In Jesus' name. Amen. Man, thank you, Lord Jesus. I see someone also. Um, I, I don't know, I'm hearing in my spirit, lost but found. Lost but found. And I say it has to do with someone, someone that have been lost for a while. I don't know what, what that loss means right now. Maybe someone you've lost touch with or someone practically missing. <laughs> but that person is being found that person is being found thank you holy spirit angels get involved in this matter and bring that person back in the name of the lord jesus christ thank you holy spirit thank you holy spirit thank you holy spirit wisdom is being released to you right now lord you said you're taking us into your rest and I pray for everyone right now. Rest, rest, rest. Every area of your life you have been struggling, every area of your life that you have been challenged, I speak rest to you right now. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The, the Spirit of God is taking you through this process where you will come into His rest. I declare over your life that your days of struggling, they are over. They are over. They are over in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Things, thank you, Holy Spirit, inheritances are being given to you. Inheritances are being given to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you. God is elevating someone. In this few days, this coming days, God is elevating someone. There's an elevation that is taking place. New level is coming into your life. And you will know this is from the Lord. That's why I'm telling you, you will know this is from the Lord. I see a young child being healed right now. There is a, 
a situation with this child, like he was born with a certain condition. And I see a child of about four years old. He, he, he was born with a certain condition. But thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord, read on this young child right now. Breathe on this young child right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. All kinds of miracles are taking place. I'm telling you the truth. All kinds of miracles are taking place. I don't know what you want from the Lord. Can you, can you take this opportunity and begin to ask the Lord specifically what you want? It's an opportunity I'm giving you right now. Go ahead and ask the Lord. Ask the Lord. Ask the Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Thank you. Le copa reke para de hida hai. In a gratu bruni en kuble badele kitumbre ne kashu kababaya. All kinds of miracles are taking place. God is granting all manner of requests according to his will in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I see someone being healed in your right foot your right foot something about your toe your right toe is being healed right now receive that healing in the name of the lord jesus christ someone has been healed of pneumonia thank you holy spirit yes you've been challenged with this for the past few months be healed right now in the name of the lord Jesus Christ. Whatever you are believing God for, I see health condition being healed. Someone, you, your hand is actually on your chest and, and you're believing God for healing. I pray, I pray that heart be healed in the name of the Lord Jesus. Be healed in your heart. Be healed in your heart. In Jesus mighty name blood pressures are being normalized right now your organs i speak healing to your organs right now every your heart your liver your kidney everything every organ in your body i speak healing and restoration right now in the name of the lord jesus christ thank you holy spirit i, I see someone you are actually desiring God to deliver you from smoking. Yes, as, a, as we're praying, I see you're crying out to the Lord, Lord, I want to stop smoking because you, you, you know the damage. You can already see the damage that is, it, it's, you've been struggling with, that is doing to your body. But you've been struggling. You've told yourself several times, right now in the name of the Lord Jesus, let the Spirit of the Lord rest upon you and sip off this appetite from you be delivered right now in the name of the lord jesus be free in jesus name amen thank you holy spirit thank you holy spirit i, I see someone you you have these experiences that take place most times even in the night and you you're always scared of sleeping it's like something is about to sniff your life out something is about to just um you actually feel that way that something is going to suck out your life so most times when you want to sleep you're scared i speak deliverance over you right now be delivered from that thank you holy spirit be delivered just stretch your hands towards wherever whatever device you're using to watch this i command that experience to stop right now in the name of the lord jesus christ you are only free to experience the things of god you belong to jesus christ and from today you will only experience things that are of him in jesus mighty name be free be free right now in jesus mighty name amen praise god praise god praise god oh what a day 
Allah poke neveria. Rejoice. If God have given you a miracle, don't hesitate to send us a message. I would like to hear from you. Praise God. And hey, you can you can uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already and, and like the message, share the message, let others get blessed by all those messages. And then in our YouTube page, we have lots and lots. You can actually stay there and just grow. The Spirit of God helping you, of course, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So go on our YouTube channel. Select every any topic you're looking for. And God will help you. God bless you. Have the best weekend ever. Amen.